Hi, in this video we are going to automate registration on Tumblr.com. Despite its simplicity, the registration on this site brings a number of pitfalls. We proceed to record a new project. Go to the homepage Tumblr.com. When creating your project, I recommend you keep track added actions. You can see them on the project tab. Also, sometimes it's useful to use the tab Selected Element Properties for detailed analysis of the element on the page. I prefer to see these two tabs at once, so play them as you find it convenient. Go on. We start recording. For the convenience of filling in the fields, we use Profile. You can use it by doing a right mouse click on the field and setting the appropriate value from the profile. In this case, it's email. This email is not generated randomly and it's taken from the profile settings. That can be changed. In these settings, it's recommended to use an existing account for the subsequent verification of created account by email. Go on. The field of the password is filled in from the profile as well. Username field can be filled with the values of username or nickname of profile. As we see this email address is already used. Do not add extra action to your project. Pause recording and change the field of email. Since we don't do email confirmation in this video, we can change it to random. Then click start and continue recording. Age field is also filled in by using the profile. Then agree with the rules of usetumblr.com. If you try to mark a capture on this site, there may be problems associated with get and post requests. Temper disable these requests in the browser options. This step is only necessary during recording. It can be removed from our project. The next step we have capture on the page. If you try to allocate it, an additional field appears capture which prevents us to mark it. We will solve this problem by using a tree of elements. To do this, select the desired element in the tree and mark it as a capture. This tree shows are not all the tags. You can enable or disable showing of any tags in the tree. Let's add a div tag. We have found the div with ID recapture and then capture image. The div and the image both can be marked as capture. We get the window to enter the capture. Let's enter its value. Then mark field to enter the capture value and go on. The main part of the registration is now completed. Go to the dashboard of our account. Now we can post content on it. Let's change a default user pick before completing the registration. So user pick is changed and recording is completed. Go to the editor. In the editor we are interested in, in the entering email, which we took from the profile. Let's generate a random email address, namely the first part of email is the login from the profile and next at gmail.com. The fields of login and password leave unchanged. In Capture Recognition action, you can choose Capture Recognition service like DCapture, Death by Capture, and so on. We leave this option for manual entry.
we can load not the same user pick, but random. How to do that, I'll tell you in one of the following video. Now let's save the created account to a file. To do this, add the file processing action. We select to write to a file. As file path, we use environment variable of the project, project directory, and add the file name newaccounts.txt. We will add there profile login and through a separator a column profile password. Tick to add to a file and add a line break. Let's not do step by step debugging but up to breakpoint. To do this in two actions we put breakpoints. Start debugging and go to the first breakpoint. The email and username are filled in and we find ourselves in the first breakpoint. Please note that the username and the first part of the email are the same as we generated it. Go to the next breakpoint. Age field is filled up and we agree to the rules of the site. Go on. We got the capture. Since we have selected manual entry, enter the capture manually. The main part of the registration is done. Jump to the dashboard where user pick is changed. Path to the image is set and setting saved. The image has changed and we find ourselves in the next breakpoint. Again we go to next breakpoint and that's all. The project is completed. Exit the debug and check the file with an account. Login colon password. Thanks for watching.